it's your girl gel beauty 87 here and today we are going to get into another look with the mark jacobs cherific eyeshadow palette i figured i'd give y'all more neutral look today so we're just gonna take this dark cherryish want to be brownish shade right here probably dust this over the top something and then take this shade right here as our lid shade it looks like a cherryish topish type shade and i'm gonna probably put this or a combination of this and this in the inner corner will get us a nice little neutral look out of this palette as opposed to the cherry um look that i originally did when i initially reviewed this palette so let us get started did i put all the brushes on here y'all i tried to be prepared and have like the majority of brushes sit down here already i think i did a pretty good job so i have the mark jacobs eyeshadow primer on my eyes i figured if we use his eyeshadow primer with his eyeshadows it should work just fine so and I'm taking my E45 from Sigma as usual. Y'all know I love me a good Sigma brush. Their brushes are wonderful. And I actually bought another one of these recently. So I have like three of these brushes on deck now. I have two of them here and then I have one at home. But I feel like I should have just left them at home for now. But I'm like, until it starts snowing here in Chicago, I'm going to just, you know, leave them here. And then when it starts snowing, I'm going to just grab my whole thing of brushes and just take them home so that way I don't have to ever worry about running out of brushes when I do eye looks at home because you know between all the ones I have here at my grandma's house and then all the ones I have at um home I should be fine with doing a million eye looks and still you know having enough brushes to continue and just washing in between is which is what I normally do and I feel like I should get thumbs up for this video just because I actually remember to put lotion on my hands after I wash and brushes. Because normally, I like wash the brushes and then I come back and just start trying to um, film for y'all real quick. But I actually remembered to wash the brushes. I mean, to put lotion on my hands after I got done washing the brushes. So you need thumbs up this video for that. If nothing else, you ain't gonna look ashy hands today. How about that? <laughs> I put on the um, the Dominique Cosmetics um, lipstick today. I think it, I think it's called She's a Tease or something. And I just went ahead and put a gloss over it, hoping that would like give it some opacity. But I still feel like you don't see any opacity on my lips when it comes to the lipstick. I don't know what it is about those lipsticks, but I feel like they just don't have the opacity when it comes to anybody that's darker than you know like Karen. So like I feel like if you're darker than Karen Harris, like you should just leave your lipsticks alone because it ain't gonna give you any type of pigmentation for my skin tone y'all saw i put the darkest nude on and i felt like it didn't do anything and i was just like what going on here so i was thinking about doing a um and best and worst of um dominique cosmetics video since she has like a decent amount of products now and i've tried a few that i wasn't necessarily fond of and want to help out you know others like a couple of the ones i don't like though were just like summer editions so you can't buy them anymore anyway but i know like I like the vast majority of the products, so I was like, do I really need to make the video? Because the only reason I'd be making the video is to, like, talk about the lipsticks and the lip glosses. Because those are the only two things I don't like when it comes to her brand. Everything else I like just fine. Like, I like her eyeshadows. I like the highlighter palette that she came out with that I bought. Um, I like her liquid lipsticks. I just don't like these lipsticks and the lip glosses. And then the lemonade palette and the um, rust palette. And both of those were limited edition palettes that, you know, they've gotten rid of. So, it's like, I don't really need... I feel like... In that retrospect, I don't necessarily need to make the video just because I'm like, you know, they don't even make the things that I don't like anymore. So is it necessary? I don't think so. I don't know. But y'all can let me know if I should do it or not. Because I could like, I've already ranked the palettes. So it's not, not like I would have to rank the palettes in that video as I talk about which ones I like and which ones I don't like. And then, you know, just talk about the lip products that I wasn't necessarily fond of. So it's like, we don't really need to when you think about it now because... The majority of things I don't like are limited edition, and I already did the review on the lipsticks that recently came out and told you I didn't like them. And then I think I told y'all in another video that I didn't like the lip glosses, but if I didn't, I told you now. So, I guess we don't have to. That saves me time on making a video. Yay. Um, hmm. Brush, I'm not going to take the dust over this top. Um, well, since I have two of these now, I guess I'll just take my, well, I don't know. I think I should take one of these. Diffuse crease brushes from e.l.f. Y'all just take one of these. I mean, detailed crease brushes from e.l.f. And I'm dipping into that light shade that I showed you all. And just dust it over this. Has anybody been watching Lovecraft with um, Journey Smollett? Because I, I am a huge Journey Smollett fan. I think she is a wonderful actress. And I feel like she doesn't get nearly as many roles as like other people do. And it kind of makes me upset because I'm like, it's not like she's not a good actress. So it's like, I don't know if it's the agent she has or like, I don't know what's going on. But she is a very talented actress and she does not get as much um, credit as I feel like she should. 
But anyway, I haven't watched all of it yet. I think it's on HBO Max. And since we just transferred to AT&T, I can get HBO Max. So I'm like thinking about trying to watch the rest of that tonight. Since I know I don't have to go to work till um like 7, sorry, 8 p.m. And I don't have to get up till 7. I figure I can watch it tonight. Then I can just, you know, like sleep during the day like I normally have to during the week anyway. And then I can try to catch up on that because I think my one of my friends at work I was talking to him about it, and he's like it's only one episode left I'm like what he's like yeah it's only one season I'm like I know it's one season but I didn't know I was that far behind because I only got to watch I think like literally the first episode for free on HBO on my um TV because we had Xfinity at the time but since we got rid of them it's like now I can you know watch the show for free so it's like well I can watch for free I want to watch the first season because i have hulu but i i think you have to pay i forgot how much of a ridiculous ass place you have to pay for hbo and i was like who paying it i was like no we're, we're not paying that so now i'm going with the topi shade i'm gonna swatch all the shimmers so you can see which shimmers what they look like on my skin tone yeah this is definitely a topper so we definitely have to top that on top of the um on top of this sheer shade that we put in the inner corner. So this is the one that's going on lid. As you can see, it has like a more like taupey, um, cherry-ish type shade to it, which I kind of like because it's like I like the pinkish from the cherry in there, but at the same time, the more ashy, coolish type taupe thing going on. I like to mix this shade with some of the shades in the stilo, um, the stiletto um, eyeshadow palette here. So I was thinking about doing a palette mashup with those, but I was like, I don't know, because a lot of shades in here are cherry and a lot of those are cool tone. But I figured I could take this shade and put it all over your lid and just use it with that palette and call that a palette mashup. I don't know. Anyway, then we have this one right here. This is a nice little simple satin champagne. But I feel like it'll be fine in the inner corner because I'm going to top it with this topper shade. And then it all should be well. So I'm going to go in with the um, the cherry looking um, shade. I just told you I'm going to start with that one. So... See, it looks okay. It's giving a nice little shimmery effect. This is my type of neutral because it's like taupey and it has a little bit of color in it, but it's still on the cool tone side. Because when I do like neutrals, I like to, I have a tendency to like cool tone with neutrals. I'm so sorry if you can hear the neighbors next door. Remember, I told y'all in another video when they were screaming and yelling, like some of the people next door are mentally disabled, so that's why they just think it's okay to randomly yell and scream because normally no one's here during the week anyway so that's probably something they've been doing for years and since my grandmother lived with us for years even though she has owned this house for like almost five years now so she basically bought this house when she was sick knowing she was sick and then you know ended up having moving with us as sad as that is like she finally got out the hood y'all and then she had to move in with us So anyway, that's the point. I'm sorry about the noise. I can't do anything about it. I'm just going back in with the um, shade we started off with because I feel like it got lost on the outer leaf. And I do want this eye look to have a more smoky look because y'all know if I do a neutral, it most likely has to be smoky. I feel like when I do any look, though, it just has to be smoky. I don't know what it is about me and smoky eyes, but we got a street thing going on, okay? Who, who remembers that Aaliyah's on? I am a huge Aaliyah fan. Like, sh Aaliyah's just the GOAT. I don't care what you're talking about. I mean, I like Rihanna just fine. I love Rihanna's music. Aaliyah the GOAT. I'm sorry. She is one who taught me that it was okay to be like a tomboy, but you can still have girl to girl swag with your tomboy look. So, I am forever indebted to Aaliyah in that way. And I just love her so much. Okay, yeah, I'm liking the smokiness of that. Now we're going to take the clean brush and dust over everything going on here. I kind of want to put black on the waterline for this look, but it's like I know I got like two other looks to do before I take Adrian Game over to go um, pick up gas and then we can go home. He always wants to go home super early and then he'll like three hours later be like, 
my grandma starts to and he's like, you should have just stayed out there. It's like, it's your idea to come back. I was going to put you back when it's time for you to go to bed. And then you had to worry about her knowing you at all. You be going in the room, getting your pajamas and going to bed. So it's like, it ain't no point of telling me nothing about it because you could have stayed where you were. And then came back when it's time to bed, go to bed like he's used to on the weekend because he usually goes with his dad then. But his dad had to work, so now he's with me. So I'm like, mm, whatever. But anyway, let's get this inner corner highlight situation done. And then we will be done with this eye look. Okay, so it's looking at lighter satiny type shade I told y'all about. I'm using it as a base because we want to have a nice base underneath that sparkly shade because it had uh, hardly any pigment as y'all saw just from the swatches that I showed you. So as you can see, it looks quite powdery, but I'm hoping once we put that shimmery shade on top of it, that like whole powdery look will go away and you'll just see lots of sparkly shimmer. Great, now I got street things stuck on my head. All I keep hearing is the um bridge going on my head. Like, you can climb the highest mountain. I'm like, stop. You can swim the deep sea. But boy, I gotta let you know my love will always be. I'm like, I need to stop. But that's like all that's playing in my head right now while I'm sitting here doing this. <laughs> so it's like, now I gotta go listen to that. When this video goes up. See, it's giving a little sparkle, but I don't know. I, maybe I need to put a little glue and then put this on top because it is not. It, you hear me? It is not giving the vibe that we are trying to convey here. Okay? It, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's doing a little better now, but I don't. in person, I feel like it's just not that pal. Like, I want that pal. And I told y'all before, like, whenever I do inner corner um, highlight, my mom's like, I like everything except the inner corner of your eye. And I'm just like, well, I'm sorry, but that's like the, the money shot, ma'am. It's it's the money shot. It's like your eye look, could look nice, but it's like, I don't know, I need that bam in my inner corner to make me feel like the look is complete. And it's just like, I'm that chick. On camera, it's giving a nice glimmer, but in real life, I don't know. It's just not, y'all, it's just not doing it for me. Now, I don't know what exactly it needs to do to do it for me. But I'm like, for $50, I feel like you should just do it for me. And you're not. Anyway. This is the finished look using the, what is it? Um, Marc Jacobs Cherific Palette. Um, So, what do y'all think is a little neutral look or whatever? Because I was concerned that this palette wouldn't give, like, uh, the variety when it came to looks just because it's like seven shades and it, it clearly you clearly see like a pattern like this half is supposed to be for like you know more dramatic um bearish toned looks and then this half is more like boring everyday looks and then you can use this one for either side and it'd be fine but i mean i like the look i came up with okay i mean i feel like i could have came up with um a, a better look i guess with a better palette but it's not like this palette is bad it's just more I wanted to try out Marc Jacobs shadows again and this color story was halfway decent so I was like I'll try it as a holiday collection because it seems like there's not that many holiday collections I want I don't know but I mean the palette's okay and I'm glad I didn't buy the highlighter because I had bought the highlighter two years ago so anyway I hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are dimes and I'll catch you guys in the next one I gotta go listen to Street Bang by Ali so.